Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Al Beji Kayad Es Sibsi, marking his country's Republic Day. His Majesty expressed good wishes on the occasion and for the Tunisian people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, also sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Al Beji Kayad Es Sibsi on the occasion of his country's Republic Day, wishing Tunisia and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to his counterpart, Al Habib Al Sid, marking the national occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today the Shura Council Speaker, a number of MPs and state officials. The Prime Minister affirmed that Bahrain will remain a safe country despite all attempts to destabilise it, citing that patriotism of the people who have managed to foil numerous bids to harm the Kingdom's security, stability and uni unity. He said that political and economic changes had strengthened the resolve to achieve goals of development and progress. His Royal Highness highlighted the necessity for increasing meetings between the executive and legislative authorities to discuss ways of meeting the people's aspirations. He noted the significant role of the legislative authority in the Kingdom's prosperity, stressing that providing the people with the best living standards is a top priority for the government. He pledged to follow up on all projects across the Kingdom in order to fulfil citizens' hopes of a brighter future. The Prime Minister explained that his directives to government ministries and bodies are focused on accelerating completion of services and development projects and on increasing communication with the people to listen to their needs.
Shol Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired at Gudabiya Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. The cabinet expressed hope that the 27th Arab League summit in Nokshot would help to boost Arab cooperation at a time when countries in the region are facing a difficult time, in particular the threat of terrorism and interference in Arab affairs. The meeting also denounced the recent criminal act against a shopping mall in Munich, which caused a number of casualties. It expressed condolences to Germany and condemned any act that harms the security and safety of innocent civilians. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all ministries and government bodies to clearly and thoroughly respond to all complaints issued in the press. He directed stricter monitoring and procedures to prevent any medical mistakes and to identify them in case they happen in accordance with the rules. He also directed a stronger mechanism for recording medical mistakes and dealing with them, both in public and private establishments. The Cabinet then discussed a number of issues on its agenda. It expressed satisfaction with implementation of the Government Action Plan 2015 to 2016 projects as the Cabinet followed up progress of 365 national projects, of which 135 have been completed and 217 are still in progress. The meeting approved a draft law to accredit a protocol to amend an agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Morocco on avoiding double taxation and preventing income tax evasion. The Cabinet also discussed a proposal to issue a quarterly motorsports magazine and assign the Ministry of Information to co coordinate with the relevant authorities in this regard. It transferred to the Representatives Council a draft law on amending some provisions on the Social Security Law. The Cabinet also discussed a number of proposals presented by the Representatives' Council. Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Tunisian President Al Bej Kayed Essibsi marking his country's Republic Day, wishing Tunisia and its people further progress and prosperity. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa participated in the opening session of the 27th Arab League Summit meeting in the Mauritanian capital Nokshot. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delivered a speech on behalf of His Majesty the King in which he expressed pleasure at participating in the summit. He affirmed that holding such meetings reflects the strong desire to develop Arab joint action and elevate cooperation. This is in addition to overcoming the difficult phases and challenges, including the issues of terrorism and extremism. Such challenges, he added, calls for a decisive Arab stance and taking urgent measures at political, security, judicial and media levels to drain the sources of funds for terrorism. Sheikh Mohammed added that combating terrorism will not work unless interference in internal affairs of countries is prevented. He affirmed Bahrain's condemnation for interference in its internal affairs, calling upon Iran to respect the principle of neighborliness and to adhere to international laws and charges. He added that interference is doomed to fail if a united Arab stance is taken in support of Bahrain against acts of terrorism. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak also shed light on the Palestinian issue, which he said is at a difficult turning point, but voiced hopes for peace and justice to prevail so that the rights of the people of Palestine are recognized. He called for further efforts to utilize international laws and resolutions to work on initiatives with the aim of resolving the Palestinian issue. This includes the Arab Peace Initiative, which calls for justice and the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with East Quds as its capital. Sheikh Mohammed also shed light on the situation in Yemen, affirming the current negotiations amongst the various Yemeni parties, which is held in Kuwait. He renewed Bahrain's support for initiatives aimed at restoring peace and security across Yemen. He also called for further humanitarian efforts in, to minimize the ordeal of the people of Yemen. Sheikh Mohammed also renewed Bahrain's stance towards Syria, Iraq, Libya and Lebanon and their right to enjoy peace and stability. He went on to assert the importance of developing joint Arab work and overcoming all the challenges the Arab nation is facing. He also affirmed the importance of enhancing joint efforts in order to overcome all regional and international challenges.
The Mauritanian president, Mohamed Wald Abdelaziz, delivered a speech in which he affirmed the importance of addressing the current challenges facing the Arab nation and of finding a permanent solution to the Palestinian cause, in addition to fighting terrorism and stopping foreign interference in Arab countries' domestic affairs. He also commended the major role played by Kuwait in hosting the Yemeni peace talks and highlighted the necessity of reaching a political solution in Syria. The Egyptian Prime Minister Sheriff Ismail delivered a speech on behalf of the Egyptian President in which he affirmed his country's support of the Arab League in all its efforts to enhance Arab unity and cohesion. He also condemned foreign interference in Arab countries' internal affairs and underlined the importance of joint Arab action in overcoming regional and international challenges. For his part, the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Al Ghait expressed keenness to develop the Arab League in order to cope with the current changes facing the Arab nation. He also said that restoring stability in the region would help to combat terrorism and affirmed that the Palestinian cause was the top priority, as it requires more cooperation and coordination to reach a peaceful solution. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa attended a lunch banquet today in the Mauritanian capital, Nokshot, which was held by the Mauritanian President Mohammed Wald Abdelaziz on honour of leaders and representatives of Arab countries participating in the 27th Arab Summit, which commenced today.